Okay, now we are talking about the whole tea. Okay. So, because he's, he's getting a little bit anxious about it at the moment, doing it up, I'd rather you took a bit more time and just conditioning him to having it sitting on his nose to begin with um, until he's quite happy with that, feeding treats all the time. And then see if you can do up the back, or if not do up the back, just take that around the back so that it, start, it will then start to tighten slightly on his muzzle. Um, and that's when he just had that reaction then. Mm -hmm. So you need to work through that before you go any further, because once that's on, if he starts to struggle, it's really hard to get off. What he'll start to do is pour like mad on his both ends. And this is, this is the reason why um, I don't like... I'd rather use those other, um, uh, the other equipment because the dogs accept it quickly. Uh, quite often I've got to send people home to condition their dog for a week or two. You can do it and it's worth it in the long run. Um, you know. So, um, so when you can... Um, when you can get it so that you've got it on him and you can do it up at the back and he's quite happy with that. So there's the head there and the nose is there like that. Um, and this is flopping loose. What you need to then is to take him for a walk and let him eat and drink with him on a collar and leg like he's on at the moment. Okay. Um, and when he's happy with that, just wearing it without anything, oh. <laughs> then I would use your double-ended lead and I would put one lead on the collar and one lead on this, uh, the clip underneath his chin here, which is this one here, and again leading him around, but only using that part of it. Yes. So he feels the weight on that underneath okay. there, and doesn't worry about it. Mm. Then you could start using this a little bit to turn the head, and it's just like it's like power steering, and all you need to turn the head is just a... Really? Just a little shiver and release, a shiver yep. and release, just like I was doing up and down there. Yep. Good boy. Um, and he will start to get then how much power that actually has, and he'll be more cautious about jumping, because you need to do a fair bit of work using both the the, the front of the front, uh, sorry, the double ended lead. Good boy. To um, to just get him used to it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So. And after a while, when you've got both on there, you can start using this to turn him all the time and that to slow him down. Mm -hmm. um, and then gradually you, you, could, you could end up just using the head collar. Okay. If you wanted to, or you could continue yes. using the double-ended lead. Um, and what if an emergency happens, like a kangaroo jumping up in front while he's still in training period? Should I hold on to the it probably collar? It depends, depends um, at what point. Yeah. If... if Early on, in the very early on, with the first two or three goes where you've got them on, on the both ends of the lead, mm -hmm. um, I would be using the collar. Yes. Until you can show him that th this really means business. Okay. But when the when the head yep. turns and because you I don't want to. Uh, no. That's uh, right. So I think in in those cases, certainly for for a while, th then have him on the double ended lead so you can you can use both. You've got that. To, you've got that and this yeah, to, okay. to slow him okay. turning. That'll slow him, and this will certainly mm -hmm. turning. But you need to get at least some pressure on that before you put the pressure on the sure. nose. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So you don't put all the pressure on that. That's why I like the double ended lead. Yes. Yeah. You don't put the full. Okay. Because this can be quite dangerous. With that That's what I was worried yeah. about. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Lovely. And he needs to understand in sort of moderate situations mm. that that this is what happens. And again. Yeah. Uh, never use it with a, a, a retractable lead. Yes. And uh, never tie him up with it. Okay. Lovely. Okay. Thank you very much.